Welcome to r slash Entitled Parents, where entitled ants try to steal your lizard. This story from was at least 8 years ago, so I might have to guess some bits, but I remember most of it. Let's meet the cast. My aunt, my cousin, my mom, and me. Backstory. Every year we have a family get together. My dad couldn't come to this one because he was away on a business trip. Yawn. So on to the story. I think I'm 15 years old, give or take a year, and I'm sitting in my room playing Xbox 360 as I'm socially exhausted from the day. Cousin, I want to play with your lizard. Me, I generally try to be nice to my cousin because I don't want my aunt to be a bee. Okay, that's fine, but you're going to have to wait a bit though because he's a bit sleepy. He's nocturnal so that means he sleeps all day. I'll tell you to come up when he's woken up a bit more. Cousin. Do you promise you'll show him though? Yep, I'll call you up in a bit. Around 3 hours later, it's around 7 or something, so I decide that the kid's probably tired, so I'll ask him now. I go downstairs and he's asleep. I don't wake him because he looks tired. Bad move. About an hour later, my aunt slams open the door and starts screaming. Aunt, why did you lie to my son? Me, thinking stuff's about to go down. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, you little poop. You promised my son to let him hold that thing. Oh, I'm sorry, does he want to see him right now? Cousin enters the stage. Cousin crying. I can't remember if he was faking or not. He said he could let me hold him. Me. There's no need to get upset. I can get him out now. Cousin sniffling. Really? Me. Of course I can. There's no need to get upset. And now there you go, hand him the gecko and that will be it. I get him out and cousin has a nice time playing with him. Cousin, mom, can we get a gecko? Aunt, maybe, it depends on how much they are. Me, the animal itself doesn't cost much, but with the stuff, it's around 200 quid. Aunt, Jesus Christ, all that money for that tiny thing? Me, well, yeah. You have to make sure they have a nice life. Aunt, are you sure I can't just have yours? Me, laughing because I thought she was joking. <laughs> no, it's my mom's one. Even if you got him, he's only got a few years left. Aunt, well that's perfect. We don't want him for long. Me, greatly pissed off by now. You can't have him. Please get out of my room, now. Aunt walks out and cousin waves bye bye. The following day, it was the final day they were around, and we were going to head out for a nice day out. My aunt said she was sick, so we let her stay there while we went out. Massive mistake. I get back and head back to my room to check the temps of the tank, because it was a hot day, and the entire vivarium was gone. Granted, it was only a 20 gallon, but it had decoration eco-worth and a gecko in it. Me. Mom! The vivarium's gone! Mom, where the hell did you put it? Me, this isn't a joke! Look! My mom comes into my room and immediately goes straight to my aunt. Mom, where's OP's tank? Aunt, what tank? Mom, Jesus Christ, shut up! My mom and I start looking for it because my aunt says she didn't know I had a tank. I forgot the looking bit, but it's nothing important, I think. We go out to the car and guess who's in my aunt's truck? Yes, truck. This woman actually thought that it would be a good idea to have an animal in the back of a truck. My gecko, tank, and all. Long story short, my aunt has been banned from visiting us again, and we made her pay for a visit to the vet for my gecko just in case. My gecko was fine in the end. He got some treats for being a good boy and had two more years of life until he died of old age. He had a nice life. I miss him, but I got a new leopard gecko recently, and he's very cute. Story 2 Context My fiancé is the daughter of Israeli immigrants, and has fair skin, along with dark hair, and speaks fluent Hebrew and Arabic. We're a lesbian couple, and are due to get married next year. Yay! I've been learning to speak Hebrew since we usually flirt in that language. This happened a few days ago, and I figured it'd be perfect for the subreddit. So let's meet the cast. Entitled Mom, Fiancé, 
cool kid, manager, me. My fiance and I were out shopping at a small grocery store in our area, and while picking out some fruit, we started flirting in Hebrew. We were calling each other cute pet nicknames and just being dorks when cool kid gets our attention. Cool kid, excuse me, fiance, yo, what's up little buddy? We both assumed he may have been lost. Cool kid, what are you speaking? I don't understand any of those words. Cool kid might have overheard our conversation and got curious, but neither of us minded. We explained to him that we were speaking Hebrew, and we even taught him how to say hello and thank you in Hebrew. Cool kid seemed content, and I'll admit, it made us smile. About a few minutes later, Entitled Mom shows up with Cool Kid. She taps my fiancé on the shoulder, and with a bit of scorn in her voice asks in a snarky tone, Why are you speaking like a terrorist to Cool Kid? We were both shocked to hear this, and I honestly didn't know how to respond. But fiancé didn't waste any time giving Entitled Mom a piece of her mind. Fiancé, excuse me, but what exactly are you talking about? Entitled Mom, you heard me. You're speaking in that racial slur language to cool kid. In hindsight, Hebrew does sound a bit similar to Arabic, so I understand how she'd confuse the two, but Jesus Christ. Fiance, it's Hebrew, not Arabic. Being Arab doesn't make you a terrorist either. All I did was teach him a few words. Entitled Mom, you terrorists hate America. I bet you're a D too. Fiance is fairly butch, and we're both holding hands. It's bad enough that godless Muslim Obama let you people in. Now I gotta shop with them? Trump is going to build a wall, and I pray you all get S. At this point, fiance is fuming, and looks ready to sock entitled mom right in the jaw until manager shows up. Manager, what seems to be the issue here? Entitled mom, these two tried to blow up the store. I wish I was lying, but she actually said that. They tried to kidnap cool kid, have them arrested. Manager, with a look of just complete indifference towards this lady, turned to us and asked if any of this was true, already knowing she was full of doo-doo. Beyonce and I both told manager what happened, and security was called. By the time they got there, Entitled Mom was railing us all with racial slurs and homophobic slurs. She kept saying stuff like, Make America white again, or this is white genocide. I honestly felt bad for cool kid and hope he doesn't end up like entitled mom, but it was satisfying seeing her dragged out of the store. Story three. So this just happened to me yesterday when I was flying back home from my vacation to see my family. Let's meet the cast. Me, entitled mom, airline attendant. So I don't know about everyone else in this post, but I hate I mean absolutely hate middle seats. I'll do anything in my power to get away from one. This was a really booked flight, so the last seat I could get was a middle seat, which I was furious about, but was in the end okay with. When I got to my gate, I could see Entitled Mom yelling at airline attendant. Entitled Mom. I need to sit next to my baby. What if something happens and I can't save him or he gets wrapped? Airline attendant. Ma'am, your son is not going to get assaulted in any way, I can promise you. You're on the aisle, he's in the window seat, there's one person in between you guys. If you can find the person that's in 32B, my seat, and they're willing to switch with you, I would be more than happy to swap seats for you. At this time, I'm really excited, and I'm walking over there to switch my seat. Entitled Mom Are you serious? Did you just talk to me like that, you filthy, horrible person? Me Ma'am, there's no need to shout. I'm in 32B, and I'll change with you. I hate middle seats. Entitled Mom See, you horrible person. Stick to cleaning the house, you miserable R-word. At this time, I can see airline attendant is fuming with anger, but is trying to keep it professional for her job's sake. Airline attendant changes our seats, and Entitled Mom thinks she won. But airline attendant has one more trick up her sleeve. Airline attendant Here's your ticket, ma'am. 32B. I saw a grin on her face. Airline attendant. Sir, I have good news. Seat 32C has a pending upgrade. There's an open seat in first class that is an aisle. Would you like to take it? Me. Yes, please. Entitled mom. What? 
That's my seat. I bought seat 32C. This is my upgrade. Airline attendant. I'm sorry, ma'am. I thought your seat is 32B. Hand me your boarding pass and I'll check to make sure I didn't make a mistake. Entitled ma'am. Screw you. Let me speak to your manager, you effing slur. Why are bees like you in this airport and not getting beaten and wrapped by your husbands? Airline attendant. Please calm down, ma'am. Turns towards me. Sir, would you like me to escort you onto the plane? You have premier boarding. While walking to our plane, airline attendant said, Have fun with your precious baby. And we both started laughing. Alright guys, that's the end of today's stories. If you enjoyed this video and want to help support my channel, then hit that thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Tell me about your day or something. Also, if you're new to my channel, then go ahead and subscribe for daily videos. See you guys tomorrow.